May meet which is Graybeard Co-Father here again. I have a little announcement to make. Um, on the Intro to Wicca subreddit, we've hit 230 subscribers. And I honestly never thought that it would ever get to be that high. I just thought this was just going to be a little, uh, you know learning experience for myself and for giving the having the ability to teach everybody who was interested in wicca you know all about it so that was actually pretty cool that uh, um that many people enjoy the videos and and what i'm doing so thank you everybody i appreciate that um the books are on their way they should be here probably within the week so once I do get them I'll do a video and we can get this little you know contest rolling so that um, we can get those books out in a drawing unfortunately I can only afford two at this point um, so I'll just do two for now and in the future I'll I'll, I'll get some more books and we'll do uh, another drawing down the lo down the road I'll try to change it up. I won't keep getting the same books. I like to actually, you know, mix it up and, and, and give a different um, variety of the types of books that I'd like to give away. Uh, yeah, I did get my stimulus, but unfortunately it's already spent on taxes, so you know, I can't be, <laughs> you know, giving out books with that little amount. So, um, so anyways... What I'd like to do tonight is go over another tool that you can use on your altar. It's not a necessity as are all the other um, items on your tool. None of them are necessities. It's just a little uh, nice thing to have. And that is the bell. So, with the bell on your altar you can actually use it for a multitude of different things um, sometimes people tend to use them for raising energy you can use it to raise energy you can uh, ring the bell to actually draw the attention of the goddess and the god to you know uh, be present at your uh, sabbath or your ritual you can use it to actually um, accentuate that ritual or Sabbath that you're running to at the end of it ring the bell use it as a signifier that say you're doing uh, let's call it for instance let's call it Yule at the end of the Yule ritual you can use it to signify that you are no longer in the darkness but coming out of the light and you're ringing the bell for joy um, Another option that you could use the bell for is to signal the dismissal of your quarters, if you're calling them, or to send off the goddess and god with a special sound. Those are examples. You can use it at any point at which you prefer. It's all on you as far as like how you wrote your ritual and what the ritual is consisting of. Uh, I usually use it on certain rituals. Um, Beltane, I ring the bell uh, when we're doing, just before we're going to go ahead and do the, um, uh, and Beltane, we, we do a couple things. First, we'll build a, um, a bell fire, and then everybody in the circle will run and jump over it. <clears throat> and then after that's done, we ring the bell, and then we proceed to go on to um, do our maypole, which is always a lot of fun, but that's for another lesson down the road. So the bell, it's commonly found on altars, not always. If you can get one, get one. They don't have to be this big. Um, when I first started, the bell that I had was probably only about maybe an inch and a half, two inches. Just a little thing and, you know, it just rang. Um, they do come in different, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
Um, holy cow, I can't even think of the word I'm looking for. Anyways, this one's brass. They do come in ceramic. Um, you can get silver. You can get um, copper. It, 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 it's, there's many, many different types. It doesn't have to be this particular type of bell either. I've seen some where people have like the materials. That was the word I'm looking for. Wow. Um, <clears throat> some people have like the full length. They're just the big like glass bells. And those work just as well, you know. I tend to go for um, things that are nondescript. Like you really wouldn't want a bell <laughs> with like, uh, you know, um, Tampa Bay on it, like it was a souvenir or something, unless it's the only option you have. It's not going to matter, but I just, I prefer the nondescript type bells. So that, that's the another altar tool that you can use. Um, as far as the rest of the lesson goes tonight, that's the only um, item I'm going to go over. But one of the other things that I did want to go over was um, a lot of people ask uh, about using... Uh, witchcraft or spells in a daily uh, practice in daily life now for myself I do it a couple times and what I do is when I get up out of bed uh, one of the first things that I'll actually say either out loud or to myself is thank you lady and lord for granting us another day on your beautiful world and please protect you know, protect us and keep us safe from harm. You could say something, uh, um, you know, similar to that anytime you get up. You can say something like that when you're heading to bed. You know, dear lady and lord, thank you for giving us this day. We appreciate your beautiful bounty and everything around us. Keep us safe as we sleep. You know, so mode it be. Something simple like that. Um... Sometimes I find myself doing, uh, you know, a little spell slash prayer unconsciously. I uh, don't drink coffee. I never have. It's just, uh, just me. But what I do is I do drink a cup of tea um, every morning. So what I'll do is I'll pour my tea and I only drink it with um, honey and creamer in it. So what I'll do is kind of make a little ritual out of it. As I scoop the honey out, I'll say something like, thank you, lady, for providing your nature or bees, whatever the case may be, to give me this sustenance, so forth, so on. Something simple like that. And then you can kind of make a little ritual out of it as you're stirring it in and then stirring your creamer or milk or whatever it is that you particularly put in your little drinks. And that's just a little, like, um, you know, um, anecdote type thing. Uh, you can use you can use it uh, every day when you're going to work. As you're pulling into work, dear lady and lord, please, you know, help me get it through this day without any incidents and so forth and so on. You'll, you'll figure it out as you go along. You can um, say little things here and there. It's not going to be anything that's going to hurt you or make it any worse. It'll only make it better. And then you find as you do it more and more, you'll get into the habit, and then you'll say it to yourself. And sometimes <laughs> you'll actually find yourself saying it out loud around people that aren't used to seeing, saying something like that, and they'll kind of give you, you know, the stink eye when they're looking at you. And like, what would you just say? And then you're like, never mind, <laughs> you know. So just don't, if you don't want to be explaining it to anybody. Now, where I work, um, there is a uh, lady who works in another office right across the hall from me. And she knows that I am openly Wiccan and she couldn't care less. A lot of times I'll hear, you know, when I come in up the stairs, say it's uh, Thursday, she'll be like, Thank the gods, it's Thor's day. And I'll just laugh and go, you know it. So if you got a coworker that knows or is will take it in stride, that's that makes it even better in your workplace. Um, so yeah, just the little daily uses of prayers and can help you get through the day 
if you want to call it prayers or if you want to actually make it into a simple spell, it can be that as well. Uh, that's all I have for tonight. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying healthy. I know we're slowly crawling closer to the end of this pandemic. It's not over yet. We'll get there. And um, one of these days when I do actually have the ability to have our circle over here at our house, I'll film the entire ritual and then I'll put it up on the channel so that everybody gets a chance to see what we do and how we do it. And I think you'd probably like that. And I don't have any qualms about filming it. I've done it before um, for people who were curious. So we'll, we'll see what happens. And that's going to probably be a bit down the road yet. But, you know, if there's enough interest in seeing it, something like that, I'll do it. Uh, again, stay safe, stay healthy. Everyone have a good evening. Graybeard Co-Father signing off. Blessed be.